All right, if you're looking for something fun for your kids this summer, well, we have an idea here for you, all right? The Arizona Animal Welfare League is holding their summer camp, and it's filled with animals and art. So this sounds like a lot of fun. Erin, joining us live right now with all the details. You can't go wrong with animals, right? <laughs> Yeah, animals and art is kind of getting a twofer there. But like you mentioned, it's educational, but it's also fun. Now, we know many parents may be heading back to work, and they may be needing a place to send the kiddos who can't watch themselves. Well, Arizona Animal Welfare League is opening up its doors with their STEM summer camp. And I want to go ahead and bring in Susan here, who has a little buddy with her. I do. It's not Sonic the Hedgehog. It's Morfield. <laughs> Oh, he's little a little shy. shy. Yeah, Did he's you see his little nose. He's the only out? Moorfield I know who is afraid of cameras. <laughs> All right, Susan, tell us a little bit about this camp. Okay, well, what we've done is we've combined our two most popular camps, a STEM science-based camp and an art camp, because I love, I love science. I'm a science nerd, and I'm also a mom, so I love really cool crafts. So we do a little bit of both in this camp. And we have some kids here doing something, some little psychedelic tie-dye yeah. going on. So they get to make their own camp shirt. Um, it's like a kind of a Huckleberry Finn type thing, like, hey, kids, come make your own camp shirt. But they really love it, and it's one of those crafts that – as a parent, you don't always want to have a bunch of dye around your house. You know what's going to happen. It's going to be a big mess. And um, <laughs> we love messes here, and the kids really love their shirts, especially the little ones when they come in. They're so proud of what their shirts look like. And, uh, and that white summer camp logo turns out really, really nice on those colors. So you said there is a cost associated with the camp, but this was really about opening your doors for the community. It really was. It was a, it was a, you know, a long decision that we made, but we realized that people had to go back to work and with that, if you have little kids, it's really, really hard um, to, to find a place right now. And, and it's important. And, and let's talk a little bit about that. You're opening your doors for kids ages 6 to 14. Yes. If people are interested, what should they do? They should go to our website and they should register soon because we've got a cap on our classes. We're only allowing 10 kids per class. And we're only doing three camps at a time. So space is limited. We sold out this week. We anticipate selling out for the rest of June. So it's it's tight and, and it's super popular and kids are really, really loving it. Is Morfield coming out a little bit? I see him poking He is, like out. I said, he's a little shy and you might get to see one of his cool little adaptations Aww. where he will, like Sonic, roll up into a ball. He doesn't roll around, but he will protect himself with those spines by covering his little nose and his little feet and his little tail. And those are some <laughs> of the cool science facts that you get to learn when you come here. And a lot of times we like to have kids, if we're able to have them touch some of the animals, they can touch them, they get pictures taken with them. Um, this one's not a touching animal, okay. though, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I actually like to say that it's prickly and protective on the outside, squishy and sweet on the inside, kind of like me, guys. <laughs> but if you're interested in bringing your kids out to this summer camp, you just reach out to AAWL. Looks like a lot of fun.